Hey, it's Jody of Jody Tried It. My name is Jody Taylor. This tiny podcast is all about sharing what I've learned from personal and professional development resources like courses and memberships. And today I am chatting about May K. Sang's Cup of Ketchups, <laughs> Cup of Ketchups workshop. This is a $9 offer and actually how I was introduced to May K. So let's rewind. The year is 2023. I check my um, inbox. I have an email from Ruth Ridgway. It's her newsletter. And amongst the things she mentioned was May Kay Sang, who I was unfamiliar with at the time, and May Kay's offer. So Cup of Ketchup's workshop, which is trademarked, by the way, that's May Kay's um, name and phrase, what it involves is being engaged with your listener. So I watched this workshop. I only paid $9. And here are my key takeaways and results. So key takeaways. It's an opportunity to get to know your listeners, your readers, your audience. And it is literally, mine um, is called or was called, I'm not sure I'm going to do that any do them anymore, but we'll get to that in a moment, Snacks with Jody. So here's how it works. I send out an email to my subscribers and I say, hey, subscribers, surprise, Snacks with Jody. Let's do a video call. Here are some dates and times that I'm available. Please click on this link. Um, I at first was using Calendly, but I got priced out of it. So now I use TidyCal. I paid one time $29 for lifetime access. And now that's how I schedule things. I don't do a ton of one-on-ones or need to schedule things um, one-on-one with folks all that much. But when I do, I need to have access and not be priced out. So Tidy Cal works for me. I'll put a link in the show notes. It is an affiliate link, but you'll see my affiliate disclosure in the show notes. Anything I mention that has an affiliate link, I may receive a um, commission, but it won't cost you anything extra if you click through. And of course, I only talk about and share things that I recommend and love and use, or I believe you would find useful and interesting. So I um, set up snacks with Jody, and how it works is I'm not selling anything to my subscriber. They're not pitching me anything. We are literally just getting to know each other outside of the context of someone who's opening emails or on the other side of a webinar, for example. So I actually got a chance to meet with May Kay when she did a cup of ketchups, and it probably took me two or three months to get in. Hard to get a ticket. <laughs> you know, if you have a large audience, or a better way to say it is an engaged audience, those time slots will sell out, even though it's free, because people are excited to get to know you outside of the context as someone on the other side of the screen. So, my takeaways and experience I love the workshop, it was pretty quick, um, mini course. I don't even think it took an hour or two chock full of information, exactly what I needed. I set mine up and I had no takers the first time around. And it, it, it hurt. (laughs) It hurt because I was like, oh, my subscribers don't want to touch base. Or maybe it was the timing at any rate, um, because of a variety of reasons. I think I only put that out there once or twice and had no takers. And then earlier this year, I put an invite out again for what I called Snacks with Jody. I had one taker. Thank you, subscribers. And we had coffee and caught up. Again, it's just a way to touch base and get to know someone a bit more personally outside of the context of your work or their work. It's a way to make a new online friend. Um, So for me, I'm not going to do it uh, again right now. I'm working on other things like this podcast, but I do recommend it, uh, particularly if you're trying to build your audience or engagement. And I should have started with this. May Kay does recommend, I think if she doesn't say it in the course, she said it in a follow-up email or newsletter. But when she started her cup of catch-ups, she probably sent out invites three months in a row before she got her first um, response. So on a personal note, a professional note, I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go with building community and engagement if it's if it's um, if Snacks with Jody, which is what I called it, um, how I can work that. Maybe there's a timing issue um, in terms of scheduling because, of course, I'm providing times where I'm available. And when my energy is high, I'm definitely a morning person. But maybe my listeners or readers are all 
<laughs> nighttime folks are just in a different time zone. So I also want to share. So final note on it, I recommend it. At $9, you have nothing to lose. It's a great workshop. And I'll tell you what, it was an intro to Meike and her work. And after um, I got that workshop, I ended up buying more and more and more from, from May Kay and being a part of her community, which I love. So um, she has a couple of private podcasts that I bought subscriptions to. She has the co-working cove that I am a member of. So I get online and I get to co-work with like-minded folks who are um, doing content creation and digital work and working remotely and working online. Totally my vibe. And it all started from a $9 product. If I did not buy that $9 product, I wouldn't have um, known about her and known more about her, read her newsletters, and purchased more and more and more. She had a digital uh, summit event in January or February this, this year, early 2024, and it's the best digital event I've ever been to. So my point is, what does this have to do with you? You can offer your audience, your listeners, your readers, subscribers, a $9 offer, and it can escalate into them spending hundreds of dollars with you and being a big part of your community. So again, I didn't stick with it. I should have I should have sent out an invite every month for three months or six months until I, I found the right schedule. It's probably going to be something, it may be something that I revisit. I am still trying to build my email list. Uh, for example, I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe at jody.substack.com. That's J-O-D-D-I-E dot substack.com. I send out monthly audio newsletters and I also send out a weekly podcast, my other podcast, Snacky Says Podcast. And I also have a podcast called Quick Story Podcast. That's another tiny podcast. So again, $9 offers and a bit more context the first $9 offer I ever got was from Elizabeth Gardard, Lizzie Gardard. And um, I'm sure that, actually, yes, I'm positive May Kay also bought this offer. A lot of folks did. And you can see $9 offers pop up in the personal and professional development space. Lizzie is actually having an event. It's coming up on July 8th. I participated last year as a participant. It's called Low Ticket Live, where you can get inspired to create your next high value, low ticket offer with innovative strategies and creative ideas from the top minds in online business. When I attended this last year, my um, the favorite my favorite workshop of the bunch was around podcasting and private podcasting, and I was so intrigued by it. And so um, there may be something or many things that you're interested in that will be. Um, Highlight it during low, low ticket live. I'll just read a few things here. Uh, there are things like having a profitable low ticket membership, tips for creating accessible first content, transforming free events into revenue machines, and um, creating systems to handle your viral low ticket offer. So those are just some examples. And I didn't read out the instructors. And I'm um, it looks like there are way over a dozen instructors and sessions. So just FYI, uh, there will be a link in the show notes, and that is Low Ticket Live, which is taking place July 8th to July 11th, 2024. And these are it's a free ticket unless you decide to upgrade and you want to have access to the sessions you know, going forward. But otherwise, it's a free ticket. And the link will be in the show notes. So once again, something to consider are $9 offers. It's a great gateway and introduction to you and what you do. And it could lead to more followers, subscribers, or maybe even more money. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this. And again, please subscribe at jody.substack.com. That's J-O-D-D-I-E dot substack.com. I'm currently at 34 subscribers and I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers in the next couple of months. Thank you so much for listening.